Good evening folks. Today we're going to talk about how to do patch testing for Joomla. Testing pull requests is probably one of the most important jobs you can do as a volunteer for Joomla. There are many, many issues that come up all the time with Joomla. Here we've got 493 open issues. And all these issues need testing before they can be added to the Joomla core. When they are not ready for testing, they will have this no code attached yet label. Okay? We can always check what items need testing by going here to the pull requests. Okay? And here you see all the different pull requests that are currently sitting out there for Joomla. And one of the things you can do, if you want to, you can come here to GitHub, click on the pull request that you think you might want to participate in, read through it. There should always be what the problem is, how to test for the problem, and what your outcome should be. And then they should always say what happened when they tested it. Why did they make the issue? Okay. There'll be a discussion, which you're welcome to participate in. If you think you can uh, lend some feedback, or if you have questions, perhaps you don't understand how to test, then that would be a good thing to put in here. When you have tested it, and you've used the issue trackers I'm going to show you, this will link up and will show that it's been tested. Once there have been a minimum of two successful tests, then it can be merged into the core, assuming there are no issues here and there are other people that take care of that. As a tester, your only job is to test whether or not it passes or fails. Okay? Uh, anything extra is fine. Now, sometimes there isn't enough code for you to test. Like here's an issue and there's just there's nothing here. Well, if you think you have insight, then by all means, join in the discussion. Okay? Type your comment here, join in. Sometimes you need to read through the code, or the comments, to understand how to test it. Especially on the more complicated issues. Don't ever feel like you have to test something that you're not comfortable with. Only test what you want to test. Yes, we do need everything tested, but there's no stress. You test what you'd like to test. So, in this one here, we have issue 10551. So, we come down here. Here's our tracker. Okay. We can do all kinds of filtering. Here, I filtered on whether or not it needs tests and the difficulty level. Okay. Um, and I also have it sorted from oldest to newest. Because it's often the oldest ones that don't get tested. So, if you can, that's a great place to start. Alright? So, we come down here and we see that it does have code ready to be tested. Alright? Tells you a little bit about it. Who created it. So, now when we open it up, we're presented with this page here. Now, this is a little bit of a complicated test. Uh, which you can see by the discussion here. And in the discussion, you'll see that Brian mentioned that we could really use a plugin to test with. Okay, so the gentleman came along and he did make a test and he gave some very clear instructions on how to test it. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to try to test this issue and then once we've done so, then we'll come back here and we'll update this issue by clicking on test this and putting in what happened. <clears throat> Was it successful? Was there anything we noticed that we should talk about? Okay, so that's, that's what we're going to do tonight. So now in part two, I'll show you how to set up your web development environment so you can do the patch testing.